everybody, I'm Fedora Gamer, and welcome to another episode of Kicking It, where I take a look at interesting games on Kickstarter. Today we are looking at a hot tin roof, the cat, the war of Fedora. Obviously, I'm interested in this game, for obvious reasons. You play as Mrs. Jones, a private investigator, and her cat Frankie, which both wear fedoras, which makes this game awesome by default. But basically what it is, is it's a... Yes, cat, you're talking. Cat talks, by the way. Animals talk in this game world, and it is considered a normal everyday thing. It's basically a 2D side-scroller that has some interesting 3.5D elements, and they are very bouncy. It has a very interesting blocky aesthetic, which I, I rather like, actually. Busy. I better go check the scene. Though the I'm movement sure has pretty entertaining voice acting, by the way. The movement is kind of, they're kind of bouncy. It's kind of tails like One of the most interesting things about this is the uh, how the gun works, which we will go ahead and pull the gun out because we got blow up trash bags. Now, four rounds and it's empty. You go like this. You And it's a, it's a very interesting reload system. I'm using the Xbox 360 controller because that is the suggested method of playing this game. Use one stick to rotate it one to empty the chambers and then you press up to fill the chambers. You can also go to the directionals and switch bullet types which you start with bullets and blanks. You can actually load up with blanks. See? Just sound. I believe though there is no function for that as far as I can tell in this very early alpha prototype. But I believe that is there for a reason. There will probably be a reason for using blanks. Yes, take out the trash. Right now, there isn't a lot of use for the gun in general. Besides that, well, until a little bit later in this early alpha demo. We'll just go ahead and go start investigating. Not what I wanted, put the gun away. There we go. Now, you see what I mean about interesting perspective changing? Like right here. Bam, we can go into the alleyway. And this is where we're going to investigate. There is a murder at this diner. We can talk to the cat, which actually hits on your cat. And let's see. Yeah. Tell him to have some respect, and he is a lippy cat. Continuing to hit on your cat, which has no interest. So you get the option of, how about I search you for nip? Apparently catnip in this game is an illegal cat drug. And then he gets a little more cooperative Let's see. Anything suspicious? Flippy. No rats, which there are usually rats in this alley. So that is one of your first clues. Let's go ahead and get out and go check out the body. You can go to the front of the building and Death question the people. Pats your shoulder as he walks by. I knew there'd be a body in the next room. You can go to the front of the diner and talk to people, but most of your actual clues will come from here. It doesn't look like it's carefully done, and the door is just blown inward. The, yeah, the door was blown inward. Your cat is giving you hints. It helps you like puzzle out the clues. Let's see, the door is intact. It was blown inward, not, and it was quickly done, and it is intact still. So, that's about all we're going to get out of this. We'll go check out the body. It's all about getting the clues. Okay. Check the body for residue. Your cat will sniff it like a dog, kind of, and tell you there's gunpowder, flour, and real cheap makeup. But there's no bullet holes. Let's see. See any footprints? Nope, there's nothing. Must be a ninja or somebody light on their feet. Signs of struggle? Nope, looks like it was peaceful. Okay, no footprints, no sign of struggle, cause of bleeding, 
Looks like she fell and hit her head on the shelves, and then just laid there. Accidental. No way she would have had to accidentally fall with a lot of force. Okay, what other clues can we get? Cause of bleeding, cause of death. I felt <clears throat> like I had enough evidence to take it to the chief. I'd crack the case. Near enough to go rub it in his face anyways. Or the rather entertaining voice acting. And she drowned in her own blood. So she got her head hit really quickly on a shelf and then just drowned in her own blood. And now we take that information back to the chief. So it's about gathering the clues to try to puzzle out what happened. One thing I will say maybe to this game's detriment is you don't really have to figure it out yourself. Most of the looky loos hadn't showered either. Maybe they were just hobos and drunks. It was hard to tell in this town. Try not to interrupt the voice acting too much. We'll go back and the chief was upstairs. So was the executive toilet. I hear they've even got a stall door. Oh, we got blow up the bags again. These coins don't really seem to do much, and they don't. Only the ones that are in the exact plane you are can you pick up. You know, I assume those will be useful in the finished game. Let's reload. And put the gun away. Not a, that's not a way. You hold the button to reload, and I tend to always hold the button for some reason. We will go see what the chief is up to. <coughs> We'll tell him what we found. Case. There's no footprints. Looking for a ninja or somebody light on their feet. There's no signs of struggle. They, so they quickly or they had the drop on the person. The victim drowned in their own blood. Quite grim. Okay. Victim drowned. Cat couldn't find any rats outside. There's always rats back there. They are high on the suspect list. And this is where it'll get interesting. The door was blown inward. Wait, blown? <coughs> See, where the hinges she sheared clean off? Apparently, you're going to find out here that the department uh, gunsmith was developing a type of ammunition that could do just that to blow doors open really quickly or knock out and blow back enemies but nobody could handle the recoil so now you have permission to go get those bullets yourself which gives me a third bullet type in this game let's go to, come on gotta go let's go all right very dialogue heavy game I'm not saying that's a bad thing it just it is okay we don't need anything else up here you can jump really high no, I want to go back downstairs. There we go. Go down to the basement. Don't we go to the basement? No, we go over this direction that was previously a locked door. Not, not in there. Not in there. The perspective switching is really cool, but sometimes a little bit disorienting. Not much, but just a little bit. Now we can go down in the basement. The shop floor grown like a two-day sober hobo. I guess construction crews don't work nights. Now we pick up the knockback rounds. And the floor collapses. As I heard the floor finally give way, I was left with two options. Spend the night in the basement, or use my new toys to get out of the hole. I do love my toys. Okay, these are the new bullets, the new knockback bullets. Okay, we got those equipped. You do have free, you can aim in 360 with the right the right analog stick. So what we're gonna do is a jump, then aim down and fire. There we go. This wasn't a construction zone. This was a crime scene. Rats. Very little bastards had tunneled and grabbed the ammo. That explained the door. The knocked out kid? Hell, maybe they hadn't even meant to kill him. It was time to pay a visit to the High Life Apartments. So as you can see, you don't really figure out the 
mystery yourself. The character figures it out once you figure out enough of the clues. There's a little bit of platforming here, which I've never done too well with. Which gives you a, another entrance into the diner, actually. No, it doesn't. It's a little bit of platforming, but it doesn't really benefit you in any way. I don't know how to get over on those others over there. Probably you do so from inside of the apartment. So we'll just jump down here. I've never actually got this far. Let's go into the apartments and go hunt down some it rats. It's time to introduce the basement door to my new toy. I need something bigger to knock that door down. Maybe an elephant. You gotta reload it with the right bullets. Every time you enter a different screen, it reloads your weapon with the default bullets. But now we can use it to blow the door open like the door was in the crime scene. There we go. Door zero, knockbacks one. Take that, you door. <laughs> Okay. Yes, you do. We got more destroyed basement area from the rats tunneling. So we do got some platforming action going on here. Nothing interesting. Okay. Now, I believe, to get where I need to go, I need to use these bullets. I like how you can see the the fired shell, the pin point, where the pin indented to fire it. That's a pretty interesting level of detail. And this reload mechanic is pretty cool. Okay. Oh, nope. Ran out of bullets. Okay, reload, reload, reload. There we go. Oh, nope, I was facing the wrong way. I needed the gun facing down. Reload again. I do wish this revolver shot six, like you would expect revolvers to shoot. There we go. Flip light switch. It's a hat. That would be one of the rats. And now we have to run. And that is the end of this demo. <clears throat> it's a real short demo. It's a proof it of concept for Kickstarter. If I just let it go. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, ringing noise will stay ringing noise. I'm really liking this game. Not just because of fedoras, even though that gets a big thumbs up in my book. It, I like the, the whole noir setting, noir theme. It's you know, a theme I've really enjoyed, actually. And the very interesting aesthetic, it's very unique. I, it kind of reminds me of Coin Crypt, but less cubey. The, the bouncing movement is really charming. And this is a game that's going to rely heavily on story, I think. And this doesn't show you much story just in this little demo, but I think it's going to have a pretty cool story. Noir stories are always really interesting. So, this is on Kickstarter. The link will be in the description. If you find this interesting, go ahead and uh, show the Kickstarter some love. I'm Fedora Gamer. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.